Hi guys, sorry about the video before. <clears throat> I had uh, rushed to the woods uh, to try and get some um, some footage rather than being sat in the house. But by the time I got there, it was getting dark. Um, but yeah, the friction folder. Well, that was the concept, that was the idea. I finished it. Um, first of all though, on there, um, is the plans for a Turbo 72 grinder coming? No more messing about with a one by 30. Uh, it's nice to see uh, Brother Marshall getting that grizzly. Looking forward to see what he makes. Definitely. Um, but yeah, UK legal carry. This is my friend Daz's UK. Uh, UKPK and it's a sub 3 inch blade uh, typically I don't think I actually have a ruler I was meant to have a ruler a sub 3 inch blade 3 inches as near as damn it 75mm so as you can see on there sub 3 inch blade non locking very small lovely little knife which is going to get pimped at some point lovely little knife but um to me it's a toothpick so there we go uh finish is acid stone washed the hardware is acid stone washed uh it's uh, toxic green and black g10 in some pattern uh, tight, uh, sorry uh, carbon fiber lanyard tube carbon fiber pommel no, it just does not want to focus it looks cool it's actually two pieces of it uh, um, that were an eighth thick that I glued together and then sanded to get the correct thickness. But you can't actually see the join. It looks well cool. Um, but that's actually bolted on. Uh, titanium is tapped in M4 and is bolted on using those Torx screws. And it's removable as well. Everything's made to a tolerance, so it's all removable. And that carbon tube is glued into the backspacer, so it all comes apart in one unit. Uh, this side, the titanium side, this is the best I can do with the tools that I've got, really. Um, I did try a couple of other things on another piece. I wanted to put three lines in there just to give it something, but. Um, <laughs> it's like it's like Jake says, uh, attacking attacking titanium with an angle grind is just going to make it angry. Um, I managed to get two of them nice and neat, but I fluffed one of them up. But for the idea, you get the idea. It's not bad for the tools I've got. Uh, Counter sunk that the best I can. Um, this has all been made with stuff that I've just been able to find lying around. Uh, it's a 4 mil hardened steel pin as a stop pin that's epoxied in that side and just floating in that side with a good tolerance. Uh, the pivot pin is actually uh, a scooter front axle bolt. I cut the threaded section off and then ground it down to size. Uh, there is, uh, there is a 0.25 or quarter of a millimeter PTFE washes in there which I had to cut myself I bought the PTFE as a sheet but I mean the tolerances are good if I put something white behind it you can see there centering's good Tolerances are nice and nice and clean. In fact, I even 
Where's my calipers? Just to give you an idea of how far I went with it. What have we got there? 6.75. Six point eight. <laughs> so five tenths of a millimeter out. That's pretty good going, I think. Six point seven five. No, no. Six point seven eight. Three tenths of a millimeter out. That's pretty damn impressive, I think. Um, is it smooth? It's ultra smooth. nice and solid I left that section raised a bit and then added the jimp in I wish I put an extra an extra line in there but never mind yeah it's not perfect by any means but I think for a first attempt I mean it fits the hand nicely as far as lengths go where are we? Let's switch over to Imperial. Uh, Imperial we have. There is the... As near as damn it. There's the three inch mark. And as you can see... UK legal. when compared to our friend the UK PK as you can see this is not a toothpick I am going to make myself a pocket clip and um, attach it there as well and then run a lanyard out of there and carry it tip up blade yeah I made a mess of the tanto but managed to make it look relatively clean where I'd messed the lines up you can see what it was meant to look like I messed that line up there on the swedge so just blended it all into one um, this once I've got a better grinder I will actually kind of put like a, a recurve in this but at the minute I'm too scared to jump on the back is the usual that I put on my knives but there you go guys carbon fibre pommel whole thing comes apart um, got a lot of help from Kylie uh, CKC knives and um, Jay Corback as well uh, next one's going to have an internal stop pin in I've got a couple of other ideas in the pipeline as well, but I'm in for a first attempt. I'm not going to argue with that. I've got a mill coming soon as well, so these lines would be perfect. And like I say, the whole thing uh, can be disassembled. I've countersunk that the best I can. Um, the ones that I'm going to eventually make will have um, off the shelf pivots um, and also I'll have a removable stop pin. Uh, I just need to work out costs and then I'll um, I'll get a, a list made up. But I mean if that's the first one I can't wait to see what the 20th will look like. But yeah, one other thing guys. Uh, nobody seems to be interested in this just make me a fair offer and also same goes with this 
make me a fair offer. And also the BFB. I mean, it's probably going to go to the Garden of Doom first. If anyone wants this, guys, it's got removable scales. Give me a shout. But yeah. And uh, any suggestions on what colour to do these? Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, any comments, give me a shout. Thanks again to Kylie and uh, Jay Corber. Machine of Supremacy in the background.